What's up guys, this is going to be in all signs, general messages for, let's see, what month are we in? October. So this will be for the rest of October. Feel free to apply accordingly and or when you view this. Let's see what we got going on. Hope everyone's doing okay. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, I'm kind of stir crazy. I'm moving in about two weeks. So, kind of feeling in limbo, but just got to press on and keep doing what I do. Uh, spirit of love and light, highest possible messages for everyone out there. Let's see what we got. We got the High Priestess. High Priestess is Pisces energy. The number two atop her head on this card reminds me of Gemini. Pisces is early next year, seasonally. Um, feeling like you're out of work, possibly. That could be changing. Come early 2021. Again, this is hopefully going to resonate for those that come across this video. Um... I mean, I'm not really getting anything from the High Priestess other than the, the seasonal month aspect of it. I mean, it could be being tight-lipped, not speaking of your next move, or not really communicating with surrounding elements or people in the environment. Okay, moving on to a better place internally. Maybe to where you can start to work better. Okay, between two worlds, between two minds, Libra energy, we are in Libra season. Okay, you got the Six of Cups. Soulmate Energy. Okay, Death. Going through a Death Phase. Could be leaving a Karmic to move closer to a Soulmate Energy. Okay, to something that's emotionally uplifting and fulfilling okay something's out of balance right now Put that temperance card in reverse okay you're gonna have to be strong emotionally internally as well there's a lot of jealousy possibly greed in the environment removing yourself from this objectionable energy Okay, Phoenix from the Ashes. So yeah, I mean, I'm getting that it might be a rough period for some out there. You're going to have to pick yourself up from your bootstraps. <clears throat> You're going to have to jump into action. But if it does feel like we're on the home stretch for something... Um, especially with the Scorpio Sagittarian aspects of this Knight of Wands here again could be seasonal after Libra season is Scorpio season and then Sagittarius season so it's almost as if we're sprinting to have the karmic scales of justice to be balanced And you're wrapping up a lot of karmic energies. And it's going to require digging deep. Okay, taking yourself out of your comfort zone. Again, there's that judgment. It's almost as if the cosmos are reevaluating and watching and seeing who's putting in the effort 
someone's if someone's will. is being decreed, if that's the proper use of the word. I don't know, I don't think it is. But, but after this evaluation comes this emotional solace here. Finally. But I think what you can do is you could tap into that emotional solace here and now. Um, as opposed to putting it off, it's, it's all within some could speak to like the holographic, you know, projections of this reality externally and the barriers that we create internally so as to not feel maybe what's needed is what I think of when I look at this Ace of Cups, this new offer out of the divine, out of the ether. Um, I know for some it could start to be feeling like Groundhog Day, so it could be getting tough. Um, it could have this sense of illusion that things are going to ramp up as you're chomping at the bit. You know, you know, whether it's waiting for the election or waiting for the year to end or waiting to start a job, waiting to leave a job, waiting for a move, you know, whatever it is. For the holidays, you do come out victorious here. And it's almost as if this emotional offer of solace out of the clouds is like some sort of championship cup here. And this is the card of victory. So it's almost as if you're champion championing this this moment in time because it's gonna really be a reflection of how you handled adversity and the fact that you did play your game you stuck to your game and either you did the right thing or you didn't is what's gonna prevail and, and be judged by the cosmos here And that's what it is, you know. Um, you can make the story as complicated or as simple as possible. Um, you could handle it as complex and as simple as possible. It's up to you. If you're going through a tough time, this too shall pass. Okay. Spread of love and light, highest possible messages. Okay, you're going on the straight and narrow. Again, more of the, if you're internalizing this energy because it is in reverse, it's more of the having to add to picking yourself up by your bootstraps and having to do what you need to do. Okay, invest in yourself at this time. Okay, coming out of a contract or a tradition. Like I said, it seems to be a, a period of transition. is speaking to the the action element um, mastery of the action element and the fact that you will have to take action steps and it's essentially how you empower yourself <clears throat> 
by narrowing everything down to the physical realm. And what you could control. And that's it. And this is a quick victory in coming communication. Okay, in regards to some sort of financial dependence, reliance. Okay, new contracts. New association. New, 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 new. Coming in. Here for you. Ushering in a time where you could balance your virtues, that which you value, your own value, your priorities. Okay, new ambition, new firepower. Whatever you're waiting for that's being cooked right now. It's going to be well worth the wait. Could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo energy, Capricorn Sagittarius energy. There could be some cognitive dissonance going on. And I think that's what hurts the most. Is, you know, isolation and ga gaslighting and you know, feeling like you did the right thing and things still not working out for you. But know that that's even overcome as well by providing for yourself whatever it is that you actually feel that you need. Um, going where you're, you know, praised and cherished and instead of, you know, where you're tolerated. Your reciprocity is a two-way street, you know? And despite, you know, somebody or anybody's, uh, you know, methods, um, you know your truth, and you've been able to endure whatever it is that you have to endure is gonna make you that much stronger. And each moment that you're overcoming and enduring, you're overcoming and you're you're winning in that moment. So now that. Okay, this is a dead situation. It's on its last rung with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, things got cutthroat. You're at a leverage point though. Okay, no more offers. You're not giving any more handouts. Okay, you're ready to jump away from this situation. Putting down the burden. Hopeful new beginnings, creative, creativity. Um, again, more investing in yourself, creating your own opportunities. Okay, removing yourself from something that's keeping you out of your true harmony and bliss and where you want to be. Essentially moving towards your harmony and bliss. Spirit, can you clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? I got one minute left, so I'm going to wrap up. Guys, feel free to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one reading. This is general, so it's going to only apply broadly and vaguely. I'd like to get more in-depth to your situation with the one-on-one -on -one reading, so please feel free to reach out. <sighs> Again, there's like some unfinished business in this cycle. You're going to have to dig deep and pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That's what, that's what the star in reverse is signaling, and it's going to be well worth doing so because some great celebratory times are ahead with that three of cups. So... Keep on going, keep on persevering, and uh, you're right there at the edge. Just hang on. Okay, holler at your boy. Peace.